things just for their own profit, God help us, and not, and it's often in the disguise of uh, caring about human beings, but it's really often just for a fat wallet, honest to God, mainly. Anyway, if you have not read any books about the perils of vaccine, I really care for you to look and start to read because I have some 60 books in my shelf. I've read perhaps at least a couple hundred works on the perils of vaccine. Uh, lots of researchers haven't read any works at all. That's wrong. You need to read some things. And you need to look at a question. If you bring in a toxin and the body becomes used to that toxin, is that immunity? Or is it tolerance for that toxin. I think that we might discover in fact that it's not immunity at all, it actually is a tolerance for a toxin and that is not immunity. Just because, now most of these people who are researchers they don't even know how to feed themselves, God help us. They're eating dead food, giving dead food to animals in laboratories. They have no idea about nutrition. God help us that that's somebody who's designing something for us. Please, if you're one of those people and you're watching the show, stop! Because you don't even know about nutrition. So what the hell? You're putting plastic solvents, petroleum product, coal tar product. You don't give a crap about actually the, the junk that they wash the machinery down with, that they run all these batches of poisons and then they wash the machinery down with some petroleum product contaminates it? Is it okay that you're ingesting acetone? Is it alright? If you don't know about nutrition, I think personally you probably don't know anything about chemicals or nothing, honest to God. You don't certainly know about nature or human beings uh, and maybe you really should. Anyway, um, it's so amazing. I've only got one minute left but number 10. So amazing actually there was a study done in New Zealand 2005 uh, December. It was a three month study that was done. I uh, just got some information about that, but it's so amazing actually that sheep died. Yep, that's right. They were grazing on genetically um, engineered cotton. Genetically modified cotton. They grazed on a little bit of that stuff accidentally and BAM! Started dying like flies. Uh, they had skin reactions, uh, itching, blistering, eruptions, all sorts of things. But all they did was eat a bit of that cotton. Apparently it's from nature. Ordinarily they could have eaten grazed on a bit of cotton, it would have been fine. But grazed on some of that, and that really practically wiped them out. Gotta make you wonder, huh? Anyway, it's so amazing. I hope you really enjoyed this show. It was a top 10 politically correct, incorrect. I do everything I can to sort of make our shows a little bit uh, like Saturday Night Live and a cross between that and National Geographic. So anyway, love you guys. Hope you're gonna, I'm going to catch up to you in a future show. This is Dr. David Jubb. This is the universe inside our mind. Stay tuned for some more exciting shows coming up. Oh, so the, oh, the position that you sleep. Oh my God, that's so incredible. Um, yes, um, you should do everything you can to actually really um, change your position in bed. Hmm? Um, <laughs> she does such an amazing job. It's so incredible. Um, Oh, everybody does know that we've sort of been a little bit light on our staff and things. We're so grateful for Charles to have him come in today. William came in and prepared food to help. Um, but Zilma's sometimes been in holding the fort down a little bit. Um, so I really appreciate her energy and everything. And sometimes I do see that it's not easy for her to walk on her ankle or a little bit or something. You know, she's a bit of a hood. But um, she's so amazing, actually. She's like a saint. Um, and a very amazing like prophet herself and a saint uh, with the work that she does and her love and her care.
and actually it's okay for him to be at someone else's place and not say that he does live food or anything and and maybe have a, something that's not quite right but he could have a little but he he never could have done that before it just was very hard and and it was very hard for him to even be with other people he's now but he's 